hi there once again welcome to agiotech in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a mock-up for your business card using photoshop so i'm going to show you how to create something like this in photoshop so stay tuned for this consider subscribing if you are new to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials so this is what we're going to do in this video so stay tuned and see how to do this okay so in creating mock-up you need first need to download the template from online and actually downloaded this from free pics so you can just go to free pics and search for business mockup and then i already downloaded this you can search for any mockup that will be okay for you that you want to use to represent your business card then you just have to click on download and then you download it i have already downloaded this and this is what i'm going to use and you can also use this so i'm going to show you this is basically in psd you can see it's dot psd file that means it's in photoshop format and once you download it i'll show you how you can use it so you need to follow this video to the end in order to see how to create this so let's jump right into action so i'm basically going to go to my download folder i've already downloaded it like i said and then i'll go to my compressed folder and this is a zip file so this is what i have i'm having this zip file and i'm going to use it to show you so this is what i'm having right like unrealistic wooden background business card mock up okay so that's what we're going to use i've already extracted this so what you, all you need to do is just right click on this and then extract this file into any location i've already extracted it onto this location so once this is extracted all you need to do is to open the file so you see something in a folder format just open it and you can see the picture format of your card as well as what the ps that's the photoshop format all we need all we need right now is to open this it's already in psd format that's photoshop i'll just have to click this and it's going to open it in my photoshop format okay so what we're going to create so let's just wait for this to load Okay, so you can see if you compare this to what we have on the freepix website it's basically the same so we've actually downloaded this and then i've extracted this so i just open the psd format of this and you can see it's a bit different from this but it's basically a mock-up as well and i'm going to show you how to represent your id card so what we need next is to bring the id card that we want to use for mock-up to represent this so we need to have the front of the id card there as well as the back okay so all i need to do now is to go and then look for the pictures i want to use in this case i have some id card i've already designed both front and back my personal one if you want to learn how to create an id card i have a video on that i'm going to leave the link at the description of this video so i'll select this hold down control select the second one just drag this onto photoshop i'll just drop it here okay so this is the back of my id card and this is the front and this is our mock-up so we want to use the front over here okay we're going to use the front over here and then we use the back over here so that's what we're going to do so let's see how we can do this so once you open this in photoshop you're going to have go to the layer panel which we have at the right bottom corner it's going to organize every file for you basically it's going to be in folders we have the adjustment and insert id card here so when you open this is a folder so when you click on this small arrow it's going to open this for you so we have the id one and then two okay so you have to determine which one you where you want to place them in this case the id2 is the front this is the front over here and then the id2 id1 is rather the back so all we need to do is to double click so take note of this you have to double click on this icon where we have the id just double click on that and it's going to open it in a different tab for you within your photoshop so you're going to have something like this so all we need to do is that now we want to use our the front of id card over here so i'll go to my id what i've opened you can see i have it over in a different tab just click on the icon and then unlock this and then i'm now going to move it here on top of this one and then what i want to do is that i want to use it to replace this one so i just have to drag it into the same size over here just drag it across and then if i'm okay i'll hit enter on my keyboard or click on the check button over here and then i have this setup for me as i want if it's not big enough you can just stretch it to at least to fit the screen of this once this is done just what go to file and then save that's all 
when this is done you can close it let's wait for this to save and then we'll go back to our mock-up and see what is going to happen this is not magical just a simple procedure you need to follow so let's go back to our id card the mock-up you can see now it has gone ahead to rep replace the mock-up design for us so we now have our id card representing or taking position of the old format over here and then we now, we now have the back left and then we are going to go ahead and do the same thing before i do that i'm going to close my back the the back of my the front of my id card i'll close this and i'll have my back left so you can see we have this side left and we want to represent this card over here with our own id card so i have my id card that is the back now and then i've already finished working on this so i can close this one this time around and then i'm going to fix this one so do to do this that is the id one from the layer panel so you just have to go ahead and then double click on this again and then just allow it to open so it's going to open like this and all we need to do is to go back and then pick the back i first need to remove the lock double click and then hit ok or hit enter and then drag it to the other tab so we equally going to do the same thing and then we just drag it to cover the top of this just drag it across this way just drag it across just make sure it fits on top of it so that you don't have to display any part of the old card or you can just turn it off by clicking on the eye icon now I'll click on the check over or hit enter on your keyboard this is also done as well if you are okay just go back to file and go to save not save us take note of that you are just saving click on save is just you are just updating the content okay so we are going to save i see if you want to resave it but this one we are just updating the content so when we go back to id card you can see now we've been able to represent this as a mock-up so we have our id card both the front and the back now so we have the front and the back so we've been able to create this mock-up using what photoshop we actually downloaded this from free picks you can also download from other website as well you can just go to google and search for what mock-up or business mock-up in what psd if indeed you are using photoshop there are some you can get in illustrator format but if you're using photoshop just search for what you get in psd format and then just download it and then you can equally follow the steps once you have the folder just study the folder and then to show you where to insert those id card once those id card are inserted all you need to do is to go to file and then save don't click on save us click on save the save is just updating the content of your design so that is how to create a simple mock-up once this is done this is now a flat image or just a normal image that you can easily change simple business mock-up using photoshop by downloading a mock-up from any online platform with the free version so i give credit to free picks for this particular mock-up that i've used for this design thank you so much for enjoying this short tutorial to like come away again enjoy your christmas enjoy and happy new year in advance Subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Bye-bye.